So this is the uh, Eufy Security Floodlight Cam 2, which is one of Anchor's newest product releases. How lucky am I? Another freebie. Roll the intro. So as with the um, original Floodlight Cam 1 from Eufy, this has built-in AI with motion detection zones, two-way audio is weatherproof, has a 2,500 lumen brightness, for the lamps, uh, but this differs because this offering has a 2K image resolution, so it's it's nice and nice and crisp. So um, as always, let's start by seeing what we get in the box. And as you can see, I'm I'm in the office filming this in the study at home. So I'm going to be honest with you, I can't be bothered to set up an overhead rig. So we're just going to do it old-fashioned style. Do love their packaging. The wall fixing, and then the uh, the unit itself. That's a big boy. Some screws and what looks like a meat hook. Gubbins. Installation guide, which after seeing these bare wires, I'm gonna need. This unit isn't small and light, which I suppose is ideal if you want it to act as a visible deterrent. If you want something a bit more discreet, then I'd probably suggest you take a look at the, um, the Eufy Security Cam 2Cs. They are nice and small cameras and are battery powered. Like I said, it is heavy, but we do have two huge lights here, both of which can be adjusted to point wherever you like and then tightened up, which is quite nice because I thought they were static. And you've got two axes up and down, left and right, so you can actually position them wherever you want to. And then you've also got a ball joint on the camera, so that can also be positioned again wherever you want it to. As always, build quality feels pretty good. Now, I currently have a few of the uh, the 2C security cameras, which I paid for out of my own money, along with the solar panels to charge them. The video is up here somewhere. And uh, whilst there's nothing wrong with these cameras, nothing wrong with them at all. In fact, the night vision on them is pretty good. I still wanted this one for a specific reason. And although I didn't purchase this, Anchor was very kind to send me this for free, hashtag not sponsored. I had already considered purchasing this myself for the back garden so that the floodlights would act as an extra deterrent for any potential intruders. But also I wanted it to serve as a light for when I came home late at night when it was dark and cold, a little worse for wear. Anchor have been kind enough to supply a link and a discount code if you wanted to pick one of these up and that'll be in the description down below. As with all the other Eufy products I own and have played with, this is also Alexa and Google compatible and sends instance alert to your mobile. And with a 130 degree field of view from this little camera here, it covers a lot of ground. And when paired with the lights and a 100 decibel alarm, should certainly be a good enough deterrent, exactly as I wanted. This camera, however, does differ from the rest in their ecosystem in that it is a standalone unit, standalone camera, so it's currently not compatible with their home base. Although because it is a new camera and a new offering, I've been told by the wonderful people at Eufy that they are working on making this exact camera compatible with the home base right now, like right at this moment watch this space. This camera differs from the uh, the indoor cam I looked at recently um, because this one is not able to record 24 seven like the indoor cam can. So I don't wanna repeat myself from my previous video, but what does the current lack of um, home base compatibility mean? And in short, it means whilst you can still add the camera to the Eufy security app on your smartphone and manage it from there, view your recordings, delete them, etc. This differs because it only has local internal storage on the camera itself. So whilst this doesn't affect how you would see and use and manage the recordings, like I said, it does mean you are limited to the four gigabytes of internal storage that this thing has. So in the scenario of 30 video clips per day, one minute length per recording. The four gig storage can handle about 16 days of recording. And no, my maths isn't that good. I'm reading it off of a teleprompter. And this, this may be enough for some of you. It, it's more than enough for me, but I can only think with the cost of memory nowadays being so cheap and there being other cameras with bigger storage, it wouldn't have taken much for, for Eufy to, to give us bigger internal storage. But I suppose with the, uh, the introduction of home base compatibility coming soon, it kind of negates that. So um, I think I'll let you off this time, Anchor. This unit is also different, if you haven't already twigged, because it's not battery powered. If it was, 
With lights as big and as bright as these, the battery would be dead within hours, if not minutes. But fortunately for me, where I plan on placing this camera already has an external lockable power socket. Bonus. But I am a little worried about this situation because I'm no electrician. I'm hoping this is easy. I really am. So you know what's coming next. It's time to come with me and get all manly with the drill and stuff because we need to install it. Okay, like I said, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not an electrician. So the, uh, the exposed wires on here did scare me initially, but I've had a think. And I should also point out, don't do what I'm gonna do because I don't know whether what I'm gonna do is correct and safe. The manual clearly does state to uh, hire an electrician, but I already have an external plug outside. So I don't really have anywhere to wire these cables directly to other than a plug socket. So what I'm going to do, plan is to strip the end off of this standard IEC cable to then expose a live and neutral and an earth, which will then go into their back panel right here. And then I'll be able to plug this into my existing plug socket outside, have power to this unit, and then it should be just a case of screwing in these three cables and putting it on the wall. So it should be nice and simple and not as scary as I initially thought. Okay, there we are, a few minutes later. We have a UK three pin power plug with the live, neutral and earthwise now connected into the base. And this base is what is to be screwed to the wall. And then once it has been screwed to the wall, this little grommet goes in to water seal it. So first things first, let's get the current security camera off of the wall. Found out what the meat hook for was to hold it in place like this whilst I connect these wires. Okay, so it's installed. If you wanna see in detail how to add new cameras to your Eufy app, then take a look at this video up here, which I've done recently, because the setup is pretty much exactly the same. Also, a little top tip for you, because I was asked on a previous video, each home base is capable of connecting 16 cameras and 34 sensors to it, which, which is a lot. So if you somehow manage to max it out and have more than 16 cameras and more than 34 sensors, you can always just get a second home base and start connecting additional devices to that. Problem solved. So there you have it. I, I must admit, I'm gonna be honest, I was nervous about those dangly wires and I thought that was gonna be a problem when installing it. And I suppose if you didn't have an external power socket and weren't confident to strip the wires, that would have been an issue for you. But the manual does state that it's best to get an electrician to run the cable for you. So bear that in mind that it doesn't come with a pre-terminated plug socket and you are gonna to need to do a little bit of cable work when you install it. As you also heard the sound of the siren, 100 decibels, it's okay. I expected it to be a lot louder sat right next to it, but it wasn't, but that combined with the camera combined with the floodlights is more than enough deterrent for me. So all in all, I'd say everything about the camera is good. Not so good is the fact that you only get four gigabytes of internal storage, but you for fixing that. And also a bit of a problem that I didn't know about in advance was the bed cables needing electrical work. But apart from that, the unit itself, quick and easy to add to the software exactly as you've just seen and exactly the same as every other camera nothing differs and that's what i like quick and easy so overall the new floodlight 2 from eufy gets a thumbs up i like it i like all their products which is probably why they asked me to make a video about it. anyway i'm waffling so uh, that's it for eufy products for now because I haven't got any more. And I'd like to again to thank Anchor for reaching out to me, a small creator, and sending me their products 
for free with no obligations. They just said, look, if you like them, want to make a video, go for it. I appreciate you, Anchor. Thanks very much. Let me know in the comments box below if you have any comments, questions or feedback or want me to unbox or find something else to play with. Also, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell to get notified of when I upload new videos. Apparently it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So please do that. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Goodbye, internet. Put a shade on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwin' shade on me, like they all shame on me.